So we, this is her uh, design for the bucket that holds a uh, cube like this. We're going to have our motor hooked up to it. I rotate it like that, drop it onto the drop zone. Okay, anything else? Um, we redesigned our uh, track system because it was too wide and it was a little bit flimsy in the middle. So, so this is our most previous new design thing. Which is finally finished, finally. And dump! So that's and back. At first, we had the idea that the cube needed to rest on top of the pressure sensor and be directly beneath the light slash color sensor, but then we realized we could do it with a gearbox. And after that, it was a little bit tricky trying to figure out how we could detect three colors within one loop. And the best way I could do that was with a switch that had three cases, and I would just set each case to the certain color I wanted. And that's how I did that. Oh, okay. What do you have the engine set to? Not this again, not this again. Who's going? Who's going at it? What do you have the engine set to? What? <laughs> it's going mock right now, holy. Poor Jimmy is having a meltdown. <laughs> error, 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 error. I do believe that didn't work. Yeah, yeah. He's mock speed. How long is this loop? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. These guys seem to think it needed to be as far as it could be. What? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okie dokie. Is that you, Curtis, saying that? Or... That's white. Nope. Did you record Okie dokie in there? No. Oh. oh no, it's not him. That's black. It knows black. This is white. No, Okie okay, dokie is white. Oh, I have to have to say white. You silly little person. Oh, Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, it's the back wheel sort of. Jimmy. Jimmy. It's the back guy. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody want to put the tracks back on it? Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy. Okay. Uh, Wait. <laughs> one's going backwards and one's going forward. <laughs> yeah. White. Our track idea was very good at first because it gave our robot a lot of traction and it was able to move around the track effectively. However, the tracks were too wide and were not able to go around the sharper turns of the track. Our original sled design uh, consisted of just one long sled that went back to provide stability to the back of the robot. Although in our later designs, we decided a more suitable sled that would be uh, thicker and a little less lengthy would be more appropriate. We started with a new sled design idea because the old one was too long and thin so it wasn't able to turn properly. So we made one that was smaller and wider so that, as you can see, it turns a lot better and it's a lot more balanced. You went, you went, you went around on the inside. Yeah, but it usually goes around the outside. Yeah. You go around the outside. Oh. <laughs> Gotta change that distance a bit there. Yeah. Oh! Get through! Oh, that was really close. Oh, no, that, that's in. I thought you were gonna say it's not in, and I was gonna slap you right in the gap. Maybe he only goes on my screen time. Like, no, I was having a problem where he didn't start. I wanna see this drop the block. No, you don't, it's so bad. No, that was good. So, did you trim up and make it bacon? No! Did you trim it up so he doesn't stop here and he stops at the yellow? Yeah, I think so. Give her cake, I feel. I added 50 millimeters. Oh. Okay. Pretty good. Ow. That's a solid drop.